40. Okay, hi. Hi, everyone. It's good to see you all. Well, all right. it's good to see you too, Michelle. Awesome. Thanks, Gilbert. All right. So last week's healthy habit challenge. Do we remember what we talked about last week? We talked about... Do you remember? You can unmute if you remember. What did we talk about last week at Health Quarter? We talked about staying active, right? Yeah, staying active. And what did we talk about the week before that? Does anyone remember? There's a hint on the screen. Yeah, Kailani, we did talk about drinking a lot of water. That was our first health corner for the summer series, right? What was the week after that? We talked about sun safety, right? So last week we talked about staying active. The week before that we talked about sun safety. And the weeks before that we talked about staying hydrated, right? So does anyone want to share what they did for our healthy habit? challenge how did we stay active this week does anyone want to share what they did you can unmute you um, exercise share? every day and drink plenty of water great gilbert that's awesome thank you for sharing oh, yeah. does anyone else want to share what they did how did you stay active did you go on a walk did you do yoga did you go swimming Live workout with Michelle. Thanks, Kyle. Thanks so much for coming to our workout. Hi, you know what? I, I exercise my brain while I was and while I'm doing and when I'm reading my book. Perfect. Awesome, Nicole. Yep. And I played soccer on Saturday at the uh, area games. Awesome. Did you do anything to practice sun safety while you were there? Yeah, I put on sunblock. And by mistake, I put, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna believe this, but I think you know about my my watery eye, and and, we were, uh, and I tried to put some block my face, and of course, one some of the some block and, and just it rolled down to my eye. Oh no! But I'm glad you wore sunblock. Okay, really yep. great, perfect. Seth, awesome. You walk, you did yoga and bocce. Awesome, Nicole Wayne, bocce. Awesome. Kailani, did, you, did I see your hand raised? Would you like to share? Um, with, um, wear a hat. Yeah, you wore a hat. Perfect. That's awesome. That's a great way to practice sun safety. Thanks for sharing that. Perfect. Okay. So we're going to build upon these topics, right? So we've talked about staying hydrated, which we know is so important sun safety and staying active this summer. So today we are going to talk about ocean and water safety because I know a lot of us like to swim. Maybe we're competitive swimmers. Maybe we like to swim at the beach, right? And we live on an island. So ocean and water safety is super important, okay? No matter what island you live on, it's still important. So does anyone wanna take a guess or can you tell me why water safety is important? You could guess if you don't know, but I want to hear from you what you think. Why is it important? Yeah, Kiana, go ahead. Well, I see <clears throat> drink water, the stuff screen, and then we got go on. Yeah, those are all super important things when we um, are near the water, right? Does anyone else want to take a guess? Why is water safety important? What if we're unsafe near the water? Would that be good? No, right? It would be really bad. So being in or near the water can be fun, but it can also be really dangerous if we aren't careful about practicing water safety, right? Water is an added element that potentially could, yeah, Kyle, great, lifeguard, exactly. We need to be safe when we're near the water because if we're not safe, we could get really hurt, right? So let's see. Who should practice water safety? 
Uh, yeah, I guess that we all we all do, and uh, and uh, of course you can have your family and friends watching you while you are swimming. Perfect. Thank you, Nicole Kelly. You're welcome. That's a great answer. Exactly right. Everyone should practice water safety, right? It does not matter how old you are. It does not matter if you're Michael Phelps and you're super comfortable in the water, right? Everyone should be practicing water safety to ensure a safe and fun environment for all involved, okay? So even if you've been swimming for many, many, many years, right? I learned to swim when I was probably five and I'm 24 now. So that's a long time to be swimming but even I need to practice water safety, okay? So no matter how old you are, no matter how long you've been swimming, you have to make sure that you're being safe near the water. So when should we practice water safety? Does anyone wanna take a guess or have a thought? You could unmute or you could share it in the chat, totally up to you if you wanna take a guess. Uh, I say, for example, a little kid should have a, have a life vest on. Great, thank you, Nicole. Thank you for sharing that. Oh, let's see in the chat. Yep, every day, perfect. At the swimming pool, yep, at the beach. Yes, you are all correct. We should always practice water safety every time we are in or near the water. So at the beach, at, in the pool, we should be thinking about and practicing water safety, okay? You are all correct. Water activities are a great way to stay active, like we talked about last week, right? Staying active in the summer. Does anyone remember how many minutes of exercise we need per week? Does anyone remember or want to take a guess? You could type it in the chat or you could unmute. Uh, I would say as is it 60 minutes or more? Yeah, Nicole Kelly, you said that last week too. You are so right. That's very ambitious. That's a great goal to have. Kailani, you don't know? That's okay. That's okay. It's okay not to know. So last week we talked about we want to have at least 150 minutes per week, right? So that's 30 minutes every day from Monday to Friday at least. If we want, we can do what Nicole Kelly said and be super ambitious and get one hour or 60 minutes per day, but we want at least 30 minutes per day, okay? And swimming, surfing, kayaking, other water sports, it's a great way to be active in the summer, especially. It's a really fun way to stay active. Um, and being near the water can produce a really calming effect. Maybe you feel at peace near the water, you feel like you can have fun, you don't, you feel less stressed, that's super awesome. It can improve your mental health a lot, um, but it's important to stay safe while doing so. And just as an extra reminder, we need to practice sun safety and stay hydrated when we're near the water, right? Because oftentimes at the pool or at the beach, it's super hot, the sun is out, we're having a great time, but it's important to be sun safe and stay hydrated. All right, does anyone remember one way to stay hydrated or how we can practice sun safety? How about someone I haven't heard from? Nicole, you know, I would you like to share? You could take a guess if you don't remember. Okay. Okay. Um, one way to stay hydrated is that you can add a fruit in it if you if you cannot, um, if you're not as used to drinking water yet. Yeah, that's perfect. Thank you for sharing that. That is exactly right. So we could add fruit in our water to spice it up and make it fun to drink, right? If we're not used to drinking so much water, that's perfect. Hi, Lenny, 45 seconds of swimming. Um, not quite. That's a great guess. Oh, Gilbert, I see 45 minutes. Yeah, we want 30 minutes of exercise per day, right? So let's see, we can, like Nicole Noy said, we can add water or we can add fruit into our water to make it more exciting. We want to be drinking six to eight cups of water per day, right? So remember, we want to drink water with every meal and before and after exercise. Exactly, Nicole Wayne, we want to drink water with exercise. Yeah, exactly, Kailani. That's a great way to stay active is walking. There's lots of great ways to stay active. 
Okay. So today we're going to talk about ocean and water safety tips to keep us safe this summer. Okay. The number one tip is always be cautious in or near water, right? Remember we said it doesn't matter who you are. Um, it doesn't matter if you've been swimming for years and years and years. When you're near or in water, you have to pay extra attention to your energy levels and take breaks as needed. So being in the water, swimming, treading water, being at the beach in the waves can be super fun, right? And we might not even realize how tired we're getting from being in the water because we're under the sun and we're moving around in the water and we don't maybe, we, swimming is a low impact exercise. So we maybe don't even realize how tired we're getting. And so it's important to take breaks every so often, grab some food, rehydrate, get out of the sun for a minute, right? And we wanna stay aware of our surroundings, okay? So what does that mean? That means we're paying attention with our eyes, our ears, maybe even the smell. Um, we're keeping, we're always keeping in contact with the outside world and what's going on around us. If the waves are getting bigger, we're noticing with our eyes and we're saying, oh, maybe I should take up, get out and take a break now. Okay. Um, all right. Our second tip is never swim unattended. So many of you said earlier, which was a great thought is always make sure there's a lifeguard, a parent or other capable adult nearby, right? Does that mean it's okay to swim if our friend is outside watching us? Maybe not, right? We wanna make sure there's a lifeguard or um, a parent or a guardian, someone that is trained to step in if we need help, right? So it's always better to be safe than sorry. If you're unsure, you can bring a flotation device. So a floaty um, or just stay on land just in case. There's lots of fun things to do next to the pool or at the beach that don't involve swimming, right? You could bring a book, you could listen to music. There's lots of things to do and we wanna make sure that we're safe. So make sure there's always somebody to walk. Yeah, exactly, Kyle, lifeguards are there to help. Never be afraid to say, hey, I need help. If you need help to a lifeguard, okay? They're, that's their job. That's, their, that's what they're there for is to help us when we need help. Yep, exactly, Nicole Wayne. They are there to help us. Our third tip, if my PowerPoint, wait. Yep, when in doubt, don't go out, okay? I know in Hawaii, it can be a lot of fun to be at the beach. We have beautiful beaches here, but if the waves look choppy or you aren't sure about getting in the water, trust your gut. Okay, there's crazy tide or crazy currents here. There's lots of, um, it can be really dangerous to go out if you're not sure. Yeah, Seth, any trouble? You don't know about sharks. Yeah, there are sharks in the water, but it's okay, right? It's there, they live there. So um, it's okay to be out there with them, but um, we wanna make sure that we're being safe when it's super choppy or if there's, uh, if we aren't sure, we're maybe have the, have never been to that beach before. Um, we want to be extra careful. Yeah, trouble drowning. Yeah, we could get really hurt if we're not careful, right? Um, and the same principle applies for pool swimming. If you aren't confident about your ability to swim maybe in the deeper end, you can grab a flotation device. You could grab a noodle or a floaty or something, or you can choose to stay in the shallow end of the pool. And there's still plenty of fun things to do there too, right? We just wanna make sure that we are comfortable where we're at in terms of swimming and we don't get in over our heads, okay? Stay in the shallow water. Yeah, exactly. If we're not comfortable in the deep end, we don't have to go there. We can stay in the shallow end and do just fine. Number four, don't dive or jump in unfamiliar water. What happens if we dive into shallow water? We're not expecting it. Does anyone want to take a guess? What happens when we dive into shallow water and we're not expecting it too shallow? Yeah, Nicole. Yeah, you can uh, hit your head. Exactly, exactly. So we could get hurt, right? You could bonk your head. You could injure your neck. Um, if you jump in even feet first, um, you could hurt your feet or your ankle potentially, right? We could get hurt. Exactly, Gilbert. You could get hurt and have an injury. Um, it's not safe, especially if we don't know how deep the water is. We don't want to dive or jump. So when in doubt, we should enter the water feet first, right? Slide into the water if you can. Um, that, of course, um, the don't dive rule, of course, doesn't necessarily apply when you're uh, at swim practice and you maybe have a coach. 
and you know exactly how deep the water is, then it's okay to dive as long as you have someone watching you and you, you know, if you practice at that pool every single week, then it's okay, right? But this applies for when we're not familiar with where we are necessarily, or uh, we're not sure how deep the water is, okay? So let's see. Number five, do not push or jump on others, right? It might be fun. You know, we're having a good time with our friends at the pool and we think it's funny to push them in uh, to the pool or the ocean, but it's actually, it can actually be really dangerous, right? If we're not, if that person isn't ready to swim or isn't expecting it, um, they could get hurt and that would be really sad, right? So instead of pushing someone in to play around, we could work on other water activities with them. We could maybe challenge them to do some water somersaults or build a sand castle, right? There are other tons of more fun ways um, to play with our friends near the water than pushing them in. That can be really dangerous, okay? So that's really important, especially in summer. I know how tempting it can be, but it's better to just um, make sure that everyone is safe, okay? Let's see what. Yeah, Kyle, you could make a sand sculpture. If you do, I want you to take a picture and send it to me because I want to see it, okay? I want to see all your beautiful sand sculpture creations. Do not push. Exactly, Nicole Wade, do not push. Yep, so Gilbert build sand castles. Yep, I want to see them too. All right. Uh, uh, and there's an elephant tree safe in the land. So don't uh, throw uh, sand in somebody's face. Yeah, that's a great that's a great other tip, Nicole Kelly. That's super important. It's really, it's not really nice to do it, that. Right? Especially your eyes, part of your face. Yeah, exactly. Thank you for sharing that. You're welcome. All right. So our sixth tip is never turn your back. Don't push the kids. That's exactly right, Kailani. Our sixth tip, never turn your back on the ocean. Do these people see the waves behind them? Do they see them? No, right? They don't see them because they're turned away from the ocean and the waves could knock them off their feet. Look at this surfer right here, especially, right? He's not prepared for that wave. So we always want to keep an eye on the waves. The ocean can be super unpredictable and things can change in a minute or in a second, right? So we should never underestimate the power of the waves. We should always keep our eyes out and use our senses to constantly be aware of our surroundings, right? Super important for if we're at the beach. Number seven is stay hydrated and practice sun safety. I know we've been talking a lot about this, but it is super, super important, right? So staying hydrated when doing water activities and practicing sun safety is super important because being in the water is really tiring without us even realizing. If you can even believe it, when we're in the pool or at the beach, in the ocean, we sweat even while we're in the water. We just don't feel it, okay? And what do we say about staying hydrated when we're exercising and sweating? Do we need to drink more water or less water? Do we need to drink more water or less water when we're exercising? Yes, Gilbert, exactly, more water. We need more, yep, Kailani exactly right yep Kyle we need more water when we're exercising so when we're in the pool it can be misleading because we can feel like oh I'm around the water I don't feel like I'm sweating I'm good to go but we need actually more water when we're in the pool and we're exercising because we're actually sweating we just don't feel it yes Seth exactly we need more water and our oh so our, this relates to our next tip but I want to talk really quickly about ocean currents so an ocean current describes the motion of the ocean. So it describes the waves, um, the undertow, so how the waves move and how they um, push the water around. And currents depend on different factors like temperature, wind, and tide patterns. So currents can change periodically, right? They're not set in stone, so they can change all the time and they can be dangerous, okay? They can be really strong, and if we're not careful, they can sweep us out to sea, which we don't want, right? We want to be in a controlled environment whenever we're in the sea. So always watch and obey the warning signs on the beach. Usually, if you stop by a beach and they, it has a sign that says strong current, if you're not confident or comfortable, then we're, we don't wanna get in the water, okay? We wanna be safe. 
So, but if you do get caught in a current, don't panic. If you feel yourself stuck in a current, you can swim parallel to shore and back to safety. Does anyone know what parallel means? Or want to take a guess? Which direction do we want our swimmers to swim here? Do we want them swimming out towards the water? Do we want them swimming back towards the sand? Or do we want them swimming side to side next to the sand? Yeah, Kiana, go ahead. You can take a guess. Swim back. Swim back, that's a good guess. Caught, what does caught mean? Mm -hmm. Nicole Wayne, what do you mean by caught? Oh, they're caught in the, yeah, Kyle, that's, that's a great guess, swim back to shore. So it's a little bit tricky because we do want them to swim back to shore, but if the current is pushing them out, right? One person is not going to be stronger than the ocean, okay? The ocean is super powerful. So instead, what we want them to do, swimming parallel to shore actually means swimming alongside the beach. So what we want them to do is to swim sideways, okay? Because once you, a current, if it's pushing out, you want to swim sideways, and then you can get out of that current and swim back to shore that way, okay? So it's a little bit complicated, but we want you to first swim sideways and then back. Okay, does that make sense to everyone? Does anyone have questions about that or does it, it it's confusing? We're all good. You could think about it too. And if you have questions later, you can email me or we can talk about it uh, at the next health quarter, okay? Number nine, tip number nine is wear a life jacket when doing water activities. So that means things like kayaking, if we're on a jet ski, um, perhaps if we are, oh, I don't know, on like a water playground type of thing or a slide or something like that. When in doubt, we should wear a life vest or use a flotation device, especially in the ocean or if we're on a boat or something like that. Even if we're strong swimmers, to be safe, we should still wear a life vest when doing water activities because um, the life vest will just keep us floating, right? It'll take uh, the pressure off of us to do all the work. Yep, exactly, Kyle, I mean, on a boat or on a canoe, Kyle. Yep, exactly. Um, we should wear a life jacket um, just so that if we by accident fall in or um, something like that, we're good to go and we have something that will keep us flotation or floating on a kayak over exactly number 10 avoid water sport oops avoid water sports in bad weather okay so if it is actually really unsafe to swim during a storm especially if you hear light if you hear thunder or see lightning okay so remember when we're next to the water our number one tip was to be cautious right so that means to be extra aware of our surroundings and if we see lightning or we hear thunder, we wanna get out of the water immediately, okay? Or even better, we should stay inside, okay? So that's a good time to um, practice staying active indoors. So we can do yoga inside, we could play a YouTube video, we could walk around our house, right? We wanna stay indoors and away from the water in bad weather. And a few days after heavy rain or storms, we want to consider avoiding the beach, right? So look at this water. Does it look very clean? No, right? So there's um, something called runoff. When it rains really heavy, a lot of like the um, dirt and everything gets washed down from the mountains and it actually ends up in the water. So it can be kind of gross for a few days, okay? So we want to try to avoid going to the beach a few days after really heavy rain so that we aren't in that gross water, because you never know, you could get sick from it, okay? So does anyone have any questions about the water safety tips we talked about today? I know we covered a lot of new topics that maybe we haven't heard about before. Yeah, Kailani, go ahead. You can ask a question. Um, yeah. um, is it safety to... Um, safety to um, swim by yourself. 
Well, I don't know. Let's see. Do, do we think it's safe to swim by ourselves? We've talked about that today. Does someone want to answer Kailani's question? Is it safe to swim by ourselves? No, I see some shaking heads. No, it's not safe to swim by ourselves, right? We always want to have either a lifeguard, a parent, or another capable adult around when we're swimming, right? Because they can step in and take action if we need help. Okay. Yes, Kiana, go ahead. What what's up? Um, stay with your family. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So when we're at the pool or at the beach, we want to stay with our family or stay around somebody who can help us if needed, um, if we run into trouble, right? That's a great point. Kyle, scan, sand sculpture. Yeah, you could build a sand sculpture on um, at the beach. And what are we going to do that instead of? We're instead of pushing someone in, right, into the water, which is not safe, we're going to play in a different way um by building sand sculptures or uh such as the eiffel tower if you can that would be pretty amazing you should send me a photo if you end up doing that okay does anyone else have any questions about what we talked about today castle yeah exactly Nicole, you can build castles if there are no questions our healthy habit challenges we're building upon what we've already said right so our first healthy habit challenge from our staying hydrated topic was choose one tip about staying hydrated and do it at home at least two times, right? We're still going to do that. So you can pick a new healthy habit or you can continue doing the same one that you've been doing. And from our sun safety week, we said choose one tip about sun safety and share it with two people. Right, so we can pick a new sun safety topic or we can choose the same one and we're gonna share it with two people. So you can share it with a family member, a teammate, a friend, a sibling, anyone, right? But we wanna be talking about sun safety with our community, okay? And from last week, what did we say? We said choose one method of staying active that we talked about and do it at home at least two times. So what do we talk about we, last week? We talked about yoga, we talked about gardening, we talked about walking, we talked about swimming and water sports, right? So we're gonna choose one method. It could be a new method, it could be the same method, but we're gonna do it at home at least two times, right? And because you guys are so amazing and I know you can do it, we're gonna add on to these challenges. And today's challenge is to choose one tip about water safety that we talked about this week oops sorry that's a typo it's this week we talked about water safety this week and we're going to share it with two people okay so we're going to teach two people about what we learned today about water safety okay and next week what at health corner we're going to share okay does that sound like a good deal yeah sounds like a good deal all right so yeah. If anyone has any health questions, any Haleo Maliola questions, you can always email me. That is my email, same as always. I love hearing from you. So please feel free to email me. If you wanna watch this presentation or any of our others, please just go to our YouTube channel. Our friend Allison um, is going to upload this for us. Um, hello. And our Wednesday workout this week, August 3rd, 3.30 p.m. That is the ID, same as always. Our friend Peter is actually gonna be leading the workout for us, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and stop sharing and really quick before I, um, I will stop recording too.